energy is required for all activities. It is needed to cook, to provide light and heat, to propel vehicles, and to drive machinery in industries. Energy can be generated from fuel minerals like coal, petroleum, natural gas, uranium, and from electricity. Energy resources can be classified as conventional and non-conventional sources. Conventional sources include firewood, cattle dung cake, coal, petroleum, natural gas, and electricity, both hydro and thermal. Non-conventional sources include solar, wind, tidal, geothermal, biogas, and atomic energy. Firewood and cattle dung cake are most common in rural India. According to one estimate, more than 70% energy requirement in rural households is met by these two. Continuation of these is increasingly becoming difficult due to decreasing forest area. Moreover, using dung cake too is being discouraged because it consumes most valuable manure which could be used in agriculture. Abundantly available fossil fuel. It provides a substantial part of the nation's energy needs. It is used for power generation, to supply energy to industry, as well as for domestic needs. India is highly dependent on coal for meeting its commercial energy requirements. As you are already aware that coal is formed due to the compression of plant material over millions of years. Coal therefore is found in a variety of forms depending on the degrees of compression and the depth and the time of burial. Decaying plants in swamps produce peat which has a low carbon and a high moisture content and low heating capacity. Lignite is a low grade brown coal which is soft with high moisture content. The principal lignite reserves are in Nebeli in Tamil Nadu and are used for generation of electricity. Coal that has been buried deep and subjected to increased temperatures is bituminous coal. It is the most popular coal in commercial use. Metallurgical coal is high-grade bituminous coal which has a special value for smelting iron in blast furnaces. Anthracite is the highest quality hard coal. In India, 
coal occurs in rock series of two main geological ages, namely Gondwana, a little over 200 million years in age, and in tertiary deposits, which are only about 55 million years old. Major resources of Gondwana coal, which are metallurgical coal, are located in Damodar Valley in West Bengal, Jharkhand. Charia, Rani Ganj, Bokaro are important coal fields. The Godavari, Mahanadi, Son and Bartha valleys also contain coal deposits. Tertiary coals occur in the northeastern states of Meghalaya, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland. Remember, coal is a bulky material which loses weight on use as it is reduced to ash. Hence, heavy industries and thermal power stations are located on or near the coal fields. Petroleum Petroleum or mineral oil is the next major energy resource in India after coal. It provides fuel for heating and lighting, lubricants for machinery, raw materials for a number of manufacturing industries. Petroleum refineries act as a nodal industry for synthetic textile, fertilizers and numerous chemical industries. Most of the petroleum occurrences in India are associated with anticlines and fault traps in the rock formations of the tertiary age. In regions of holding anticlines or domes, it occurs where oil is trapped in the crest of the upfold. Bearing layer is a porous limestone or sandstone through which oil may flow. The oil is prevented from rising or sinking by intervening non porous layers. Petroleum is also found in fault traps between porous and non-porous rocks. Gas, being lighter, usually occurs above the oil. About 63% of India's petroleum production is from Mumbai High. Eighteen percent from Gujarat and sixteen percent from Assam. Ankaleshwar is the most important field of Gujarat. Assam is the oldest oil producing state of India. Take boy. 
का टिया एंड मोर ऑन होगरी जान आर द इम्पोर्टेंट ऑयल फील्ड इन द स्टेट gas is an important clean energy resource found in association with or without petroleum it is used as a source of energy as well as an industrial raw material in the petrochemical industry Natural gas is considered an environmental friendly fuel because of low carbon dioxide emissions and is therefore the fuel for the present century. Large reserves of natural gas have been discovered in the Krishna Godavari basin. Along the west coast, the reserves of the Mumbai High and Allied fields are supplemented by finds in the Gulf of Cambay. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are also important areas having large reserves of natural gas. The 1700 km long Hazira Vijaypur Jagdishpur cross country gas pipeline links Mumbai High and Basin with the fertilizer, power and industrial complexes in western and northern India. This artery has provided an impetus to India's gas production. The power and fertilizer industries are the key users of natural gas. Use of compressed natural gas or CNG for vehicles to replace liquid fuels is gaining wide popularity in the country. Electricity. Electricity has such a wide range of applications. in today's world that its per capita consumption is considered as an index of development electricity is generated mainly in two ways by running water which drives hydro turbines to generate hydroelectricity and by burning other fuels such as coal petroleum and natural gas to drive turbines to produce thermal power once generated the electricity is exactly the same Electricity is generated by fast-flowing water, which is a renewable resource. India has a number of multi-purpose projects like the Bakran Angal, the Mudar Valley Corporation. hydel project etc producing hydroelectric power thermal electricity is generated by using coal petroleum and natural gas the thermal 
nuclear power stations use non-renewable fossil fuels for generating electricity. There are over 310 thermal power plants in India.